is how the creosol process works. You sort your plastic into the various different types of polymer and then you chuck your chosen polymer type into a big grinder to get it into tiny fragments. The fragments then go into a proprietary creosol formulation from Creocycle, the solution for the creosol process. I can't tell you precisely what's in there, but I can tell you what it does. It seeks out the target polymer along with certain soluble impurities and dissolves them into the solution. And crucially, it retains the polymer chain structure of the plastic. Any insoluble impurities are physically filtered out, leaving behind a solution containing just the polymer chains and the soluble impurities. The insoluble impurities can themselves then be sorted and recycled if they contain valuable materials. The solution then goes through the process of precipitation to separate out the remaining soluble impurities from the pure polymer. The impurities are now all alone in solution in the creosol secret source. And that solution is distilled to liberate the impurities and then the solvent can be recycled back into the process to be used again. The collected impurities can then be recycled into whatever they were in the first place. The precipitated polymer goes through a dryer and then once it's a solid material again it gets extruded into new granulates with very similar properties to the original virgin material. The creosol process works like a washing machine on a molecular level. Just like getting a clean shirt from the machine, you can get clean and fully intact polymer chains from the creosol process. This technology only uses physical process steps, which means that the polymer only ever changes its physical state from solid to liquid and back to solid again. No chemical reactions take place at all, as these would destroy the polymer. With the creosol process, it's possible to separate multi-layer packaging composites or wash out embedded hazardous impurities or additives such as specific flame retardants or softeners which are considered to be substances of very high concern or SVHCs.